Side Order is bringing a lot of new information and lore to Splatoon 3. But what if not all of it was true out there? What fake rumors would you start if you could? I've got some right here to make you laugh. So go ahead. Let's, uh, let's lie. To you and your friends. Little Buddy isn't allowed to go to the Spire of Order because Inklings and Octolings from Inkopolis aren't very, uh, chummy. <laughs> with the Salmonids. Everybody, please, please clap at the joke. It's the least you can do after kicking Little Buddy out, okay? Trying to install solar panels onto Pearlbot to simply, um, fly up to the top of the Spire of Order is considered a criminal offense by the try as they might. It seems that creating enough purchasable replica bags of that sand-like material used in the now bleached version of Inkopolis Square was too tall of an order for Nintendo's merchandise team. They say there's some out there though. You just have to look really hard on eBay. Try just buying random white sand. When you play Side Order, if you make too many jokes about food side dishes, the secret hidden microphone in your left Joy-Con will recognize your overused joke and take away one of your lives mid-level. Please. Please be careful. On the contrary, if you are approaching your next floor and bring a little silver bell with you, be sure to yell, order up. Very important to do it in the level, not beforehand, or uh, you know, that other mode will happen. And ring the bell just as the doors open. You'll be given a free stack of protective armor for that level as a reward for being funny. It, it only works three times though. You know, uh, comedy and it's, Rule of threes and all that. The three-step cycle of floor selection, color chip enhancement, and objective completion is presented the way it is not because it's an orderly flow that's easy to understand for the audience, but specifically because it's in three steps. Like uh, Splatoon 3. There are other things to do, but it would break the immersion. You know? Flicking your controller really fast? Let beta testers choose two chips instead of one by letting players lock in when the cursor was moving between two options. These levels, I heard, were twice as difficult and sometimes impossible. Like, how are you supposed to move a tower while also evading dozens of high HP fish? <sighs> Trying to do this now will just cause to call you on your phone in game and ask you very kindly to not do that. Oct will always ditch the elevator before you hit the floor that kind of looks like a black hole on the menu. They don't want to be next. Remember the level from Octo Expansion where you'd have to get a bunch of eight balls into a variety of checkpoints in the middle of the map on limited ink? <laughs> well, in the Spire of Order, you get to play chess instead with your eight ball. Any misplacement will uh, force you to restart the level and lose a life. Good luck. So, we know there are multiple loadout options available in side order. But why is that? Um, obviously it's because you never know when the multiplayer battle royale side order up will begin. Very important to emphasize it like that because of course, um, multiple players are going to rush to your weapon loadout and choose one for themselves to complete levels the fastest. And, Sorry to say this, but as the host, if you don't react fast, you get to pick last. In our beta test, there was like a 1 out of 10 chance an Ultra Stamp would spawn inside the Spire of Order's randomized floors while playing a level. The problem? Uh, getting crushed by that Ultra Stamp hammer would break all your color chips. No! Not bad if you're on the first floor, but like, the 10th? The 20th? We, we, we took that out. You're welcome. Part of the reason why Inkopolis Square had to be bleached white was to make sure that visiting Octolings got as little value as possible from using the colored chips as some kind of silly toy. When you have more colors, it's more fun to look through them and you shift the environment. Distraction! Womp womp! Try again next time. Sheldon has already been made aware of these new weapons and their possible modifications. Even if Ammo Knights isn't open in the square right now, he knows. He knows. He knows. Don't you dare try to bring one of those weapons to his shop for repair. 
It's very illegal. Stop. Stop that. And no, you can't bring it into the lobby either. One of the scrapped development plans for Side Order was just to let Pearl Drone function as, like, a miniature jukebox. Play any song you want from her while playing out the levels of Side Order, just like you were in the lobby. Sadly, uh, this was cut for the sake of making the February 22nd deadline. Sorry. If too many players start to play Side Order at once when it comes out, there might be an economic shift in the value of pearls. Uh, hopefully not too much, but uh, you might want to start spending them before everyone else starts selling them too. Uh, watch out! Oh, <laughs> oh, you don't think I don't see that defense up icon there? What do you think this is? Who do you think you are? Splatoon 1? Huh? Huh? <laughs> well, uh, that's what I thought until I learned it had been scrapped long ago during the development phase. Thank goodness. I've heard if you are a high enough level Salmon Run player, aka you have at least three Salmon Run EVP badges at an equivalent of 400 VP or higher, the system within the Spire of Order will allow you to bypass the first whole 10 levels. However, uh, this was removed in the final build. The Pearl Drone is rumored to be recording everything that you're saying, but uh, we, we don't have much actual proof of it yet. Let us know if you make any strides in finding out anything. It's rumored the fish that inhabit the spire wanted to run their own Splatfests at one time. However, the colors were always just black and white and red, so they got bored after a while. That's the real reason they're so interested in you. You don't follow the rules. Your colors are so new, so interesting. Too bad you can't communicate with them and learn the truth. If only we had a fishy friend of our own. If only you didn't leave them on the train. The real reason the Splatoon 3 development team added Super Chumps wasn't to make a nicer form of Tenta missiles. It was actually to distract you from the terror that lies within the Spire of Order. That, uh, th that thing. The, well, uh, now you and your friends are much more aware about everything that lies dormant in Side Order. For real. Yes. Don't you feel so smart? So much more informed? I hope you don't. Go ahead and spread some goofy, silly lies to your friends. And make up your own in the comments. It's fun. And good luck in your own Side Order runs. Have a good one.